Welcome everyone to AGI's webinar series. In today's Geoscience Currents discussion, we'll be talking with Jim Ebert from SUNY Oneonta about the Earth Science Outreach Program, which is commonly referred to as ESOP. In Currents 25, we showed data pertaining to student participation in ESOP. Since the inception of ESOP in 2004-2005, 402 students from 10 high schools across New York have taken advanced geoscience elective courses in their high schools through ESOP. A snapshot of the most recent year for five schools shows 13 of 67 students, or 19.4%, have decided to major in the geosciences as a result of participating in ESOP. Today, Jim will be telling us about ESOP, how it got started, and what the responses of the students and the teachers involved in the program have been. Jim, can you please explain the reasons for creating the Earth Science Outreach Program at SUNY Oneonta? The SUNY Oneonta Earth Science Outreach Program, or ESOP, is a direct outgrowth of the efforts a couple of years ago to try to get an advanced placement course approved by the College Board. And that effort was spearheaded by Wendy Van Norden in California and Steve Kluge in New York, two very talented high school teachers that offer advanced courses in the geosciences but they couldn't get AP credit for their students because no such course existed. When the College Board decided that there weren't enough teachers nationwide to offer these courses, we started brainstorming ways that students could earn college credit for those courses. And that's really the, the way that the Earth Science Outreach Program started. How long did it take to get the program started? The Earth Science Outreach Program at SUNY Oneonta didn't take all that long to get off the ground. Fortunately, the State University of New York system already has a policy in place regarding dual credit courses taught in high schools. So we just had to be consistent with that. And with the support of my dean and the openness of the college's senior administration to innovative ideas, it probably took us less than six months to get the whole program approved. How exactly does the Earth Science Outreach Program work? Well, um, teachers that currently offer advanced geoscience courses in their schools can apply to SUNY Oneonta to have their courses approved under our Earth Science Outreach Program, or ESOP. Um, other teachers who are interested in developing these courses can also contact us, and we work with them to develop those courses. Um, but it's very much teacher driven. We would rather have the teachers design the courses and then see how it fits into the, the classes that we currently offer at the college. So a teacher who has such a course or is interested in developing such a course will send us a proposal. Um, we need to look at the teacher's credentials. We need to look at the structure of the course and the level of the course to make sure that it is of college level and we also look at to see if it's equivalent to any courses that we currently have here at the college. So we, we're not creating new courses, we are authorizing offering of sections of existing courses in the high schools. And these courses are introductory geology courses, meteorology, astronomy, and oceanography. So there, there's quite a variety that's available because we are an earth sciences department, we have courses in all of those different areas. And the other thing that we need from the teachers is a written statement from their administration indicating that, yes, the, the school district is on board with this and um, it's not going to adversely affect the teacher for trying to you know, go off in some strange direction. And so far, the administrations of the various schools that we've worked with have been very receptive to the idea and very supportive. Can you tell us a little bit about the responses you've received from students in ESOP? The students that participate in our Earth Science Outreach Program courses at their various high schools are uniformly positive in, in what they think of it. Um, they're glad to have the opportunity to earn some college credits while they're still in high school. And generally, they've selected the course because they have some kind of interest in it. And so this has really helped us to recruit students. Now, not all of the participating students end up coming to Oneonta, but many of them do major in the geosciences at other colleges. If we look at the current group of 10 incoming freshmen that have expressed interest in majoring in either geology or water resources, three of them came through the ESOP program. 
And what about the teachers who are involved with the program? What have their responses been? The teachers that participate in ESOP have been absolutely thrilled with the program. It provides validation for them in terms of courses that they've been offering for quite a while that they knew were of high quality, but they couldn't get AP credit for them. So there's a tremendous amount of satisfaction that comes with that. Um, it's provided those teachers with opportunities to really follow their passions, to design courses in subject areas that interest them, and to share that excitement with the students. So they've been overwhelmingly positive in terms of their experiences with ESOP. What do you see as the future of the Earth Science Outreach Program at SUNY Oneonta? The future of ESOP at Oneonta is probably continued growth. Every year we have between one and four schools contacting us about participating in the program. Some of them follow through on the application process, some don't, but we always end up approving at least one school each year. So the program is growing steadily. Currently we have 11 schools that are approved to offer ESOP courses and they're spread all across New York State from the suburbs of New York City all the way out to the western part of the state. So there's good geographic distribution. Most of the courses offered are introductory geology courses. We do have a couple of astronomy courses and a couple of meteorology courses that are being taught and one school that is doing an introductory oceanography course. And so we're expecting continued growth. I've had some contacts recently from schools outside of New York State that are interested in participating. However, we don't want this to be an Oneonta monopoly. I would like to see similar programs sprouting up all across the country. And perhaps if we start exposing students to the geosciences while they're still in high school, then they may select these areas as majors once they get to college. And that could go a long way towards addressing the workforce shortage that many sources are forecasting for the next 20 years. Thank you, Jim, for sharing all this great information about ESOP with us today. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for today's webinar. This concludes our Geoscience Currents discussion for today.